hundred lines that all started with the same word or the same two words and then sorted them by or uh, order of size. There's also bits from little posts from chat rooms organized on this grid of eight spaces. Like a musical score. Like letting the computer do something, pull this stuff out, create this kind of strange poem of things actually said, but not respecting any of the logic behind why it was posted, and see if we can find something lyrical in that, or see if we can find something uh, compelling in that, and that, that maybe has something to do with the fact that it's got this certain kind of truth to it, because it just was, all these things were just uttered today. Do not open any message with an attachment entitled postcard from Hallmark, regardless of who sent it to you. You haven't had a comeback yet for the truth. You live with your parents, you have no money, and the only photo you post was of you when you were 15. And then the other thing that we used were missed connections on Craigslist. The algorithm would, would select only noun phrases. So basically, if the original sentence was, I saw you yesterday on the F train, it would just be I, you, F train. It, you, the doors, you, I, the short black haired blue, blue eyed girl who smiles a lot. I, a giant red butterfly in my hair, you, this, it, a shot. Can you do from the times? And do, can you do a they from the times? Sure. They can harass me with lawyer fees, but they cannot wipe me out. They return with nothing to the same place that made them sick. They just look like normal people going about their business. They are able to make those decisions on a case-by-case -case basis. They've done the math on their account, and they're very angry. They say they're going to fix things, but they usually don't. There is unavoidable uh, psychological sense being made. And it doesn't mean it's going to be entertaining. It doesn't mean that it will be compelling. It just, but, it, but, but when you put uh, people on stage doing anything, saying anything, your brain is tuned to find, you know, meaning in what they're saying. And, and so I think the trick is to find that sense organically in a way that, you know, reveals some simple truth about what the material is uh, without imposing too much of an artificial one on top of it. We don't know what's going to be in the future. Uh, day to day, the work did not stop for a second. Will things ever return to normal. I, don't, I know it's happened, but I, I don't feel anything yet. There's this very fine line that I think I was finding that we needed to be walking, and, and too, too much to one side of it, and you were forcing meaning onto nonsense in a very transparent way. And, and in the other way, you were, you were meaning nothing at all. You were just you know, repeating a list. And it's a kind of choreography of text, right? I mean, it becomes moving text in an interesting way, patterns of text and forms. I mean, it really is, it's, it's choreography, really. And then to, to sort of bring it here, these folks to, you know, to, to, make, to make narrative, to make something out of it. And there's a description of, of how those lines should be assembled or how they should be processed. And so the actor becomes a piece of that, of that process. Oh, the warden's office requesting a file case. Now in order for Evidence this swine, of this swine flu. flu.